this is Speaker's Corner in London, uh, where every Sunday people can just turn up, stand on a box, and sort of, you know, shout out what's on their mind. All women! Back to the kitchen! Now! The bloke you're about to see, uh, that's him there, he's called Howard, and he normally comes here to spread the word about how he's going to live forever. I'm not there to convince them that I'm right. They can go away and think I'm complete lunatic for all that matters. Ricky told me about him ages ago, and when he said he was bringing out a DVD called Fame, I kind of thought, you know, it'd be an ideal opportunity to meet up with Howard and have a chat with him, because, you know, Fame, I'm going to live forever. It sort of works, doesn't it? I met up with Howard at a park near his house one morning just before he was he was going off to Speaker's Corner. He started off by telling me how it all came about. Over a period of 16 years from 1970 to 86, I discovered a, I discovered a process to stop the physical aging process of the body. It, as I say, it took me about 16 years to work out. Now what I discovered is that everybody's mind operates within a standard framework and you go through the process of life anyone's familiar with. You know, you physically age and die. Well, I found a way, over a period of four years, I say from 82 to 86, approximately, where it's possible to pull one's mind out of the standard framework into an alternative framework, and within that alternative framework, the physical body doesn't age. Well, could, could, have I got this as well, or is this just unique to you? It's a unique to me, yes. So even though you're telling me, I couldn't... No, there are certain laws operating in the universe that only allow one person to work it out, so it only applies to me, so it's not transferable. Because often people get disappointed, but they don't seem to realise that um, that is the situation. Well, do they feel like you're just showing off then? Because in a way, it's kind of like, look what I've got. Yeah, that's true, but I try to explain to them, it's, it's, if, if they can see it, that I'm not actually showing off. The position is that this is what my vocation is in life. And they say, and someone turns around and says, that's not fair. Well, let's look at it realistically. Is life fair? It yeah. isn't, is it? Not, not for really. everyone. No, not for everyone. It's not really fair. That's the situation. I can't alter... The, the laws of the universe. So it's not my fault, isn't it blaming me? Would that annoy you if there was someone? If I said, I Howard, can't... the reason I'm seeing you is because I've got the same thing? You know, as far as I'm concerned, it's not possible. As I said, certain laws operating in the universe only allow one person to work it out. Of course, someone's going to ask me... But who's made that rule? Who's... Yeah, well, there, that's it. Well, that's where it stops. It, it's, it's, it's difficult to go into that. So that's, that's, it's, it's difficult to explain that. The other thing is, if there was another one, people would sort of try and pair you off, wouldn't they? They'd say, oh, you can, you can live together forever. But no. that wouldn't be the best thing, would it? Because you'd be sick of each other. You'll soon find that it, this thing is totally ignored. I mean, after you have, the, as I say, the initial conversation, one doesn't normally discuss it again. It's just one of those things. So you don't bring it up in other bits. When it comes to, like, insurance and stuff oh, like no, that, just, forget about all that, you just leave it because it's just too complicated. No, it, it, it's no point. That'd be totally what I call inappropriate. But you are you are happy with it. You're not. Yeah, I've adjusted. You have to, in life. You have to adjust your to, check to things, don't you? Whatever happens, you know what's going to happen. I mean, I mean, one hope it doesn't happen to you. But you you could one day have an accident, or you lose an arm. Well, it's terrible to start off with, but after a while, you you have to adjust because um, some people get in a situation like that would get might get very bitter for the rest of their life. Um, yeah. So um, it's understandable, though, isn't it? it yeah, it's understandable. They do. That's, 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 that's a very, not a very good analogy there. But what about you? You know, you you sort of living forever, though. You could still lose an arm or a leg, couldn't you? Well, no. I'm protected by the spirit world. That sort of situation won't occur. What? Uh, no harm at all. You can't within reason. I mean, I can get obviously you can get a cold or, or things like that. But, but you nothing, can't lose nothing, a leg, or no, that, that's impossible. What do you mean? Well, I'm protected by... The, see, people think there's only one world, the physical world, but there's two worlds, the physical world and the spirit world. I'll still be in the physical world, whereas you'll be in the spirit world. But doesn't that annoy you, because you'll never get to see the spirit world? Well, it, people... It is, it, it is possible. Some people have seen glimpses of the spirit world before they physically die. There's something called near-death experiences. Yeah, I've had that. You have? Yeah. Oh, I've been... Oh. It was on an ice pop. Oh, that, I see. That went down the wrong way on my throat and I was choking and my mum had to give me that yes. fireman's thing where they 
you know, get air to you, squeeze you around the belly. Oh, I see. But I didn't, I didn't see anything. I didn't see, like, a person standing over me saying, welcome, or whatever would happen. I see. Very good. So, it was an uplif uplifting experience. It's horrible. I'm sure it is. Well, they are. So I always say I want to live to be about 74, 75. And then I reckon by that point I'll, I'll have had enough, I think. You think? Oh, dear. How old are you now? Well, see, now let's try to make clarification because you're talking about age for a minute. See, in this alternative frame, I won't age. So I won't get any older than I am now. What, in terms of the way you look? Physical, yeah. Now, let's see how old I was when it's... My body starts to stop in 1986, so now I'm 42. You're 42. So birthdays, in effect, are a, they're a waste of time to you, aren't they? Because it doesn't mean anything. Well, do they mean anything to you? It just means I'm getting a bit nearer to dying. Is that how you perceive it? Some well, yeah. people like celebrating their birthdays, no. regardless. No, I don't. So what do you do for, for a birthday? I mean, is this sort of an in-joke with your friends? And no, you it's, just, it's just... Someone might send me a card and that's it. I mean... I'm not too concerned. You know. No, but do they joke in it? It's like, no. there's another one. No, no. If I tell people about my vocation in life and they want proof, I normally don't give it because I'm not there to prove anything. I'm there, my mission is to tell people about it, anyone who's particularly interested. I'm not here, I'm not there to convince them that I'm right. They can go away and think I'm a complete lunatic for all that matters. I'm not worried. Do you think they'll start listening more when you're a lot older because then they'll go... Oh, he wasn't joking. They might make a joke later, but they might have died by the time. You know, it doesn't really matter, does it? I mean... I don't know what matters. Isn't... That's kind of... I just bumble along. That's what you do. You, you're born and you try and get on with it and you try and enjoy yourself. But everything, you see, everything in life normally comes to an end, doesn't it? So it's hard to get your head around. It's like when people say the universe goes on forever. You go, oh, don't talk about it. Well, so what? If it does, uh, it's a big deal. So what? Well, it doesn't affect you. No, but it's weird. You can't get your head round it, can you? Because everything's got a lifespan normally. Well, we always think everything has a beginning and an end. But most things do. Something, yeah, but how... Tell me something else apart from you that is going to be on this planet forever. Well, there's the Earth, isn't it? Yeah, but it's always been turfed and that, isn't it? Yeah, well, that's have it. All you're doing is having an haircut. I'm talking about like something that, that lasts forever that you don't have to do anything to. I, I there's nothing. Know. I don't think there's anything, to be quite frank. A tortoise, that is the only thing that you sort of think... ...forever. No, but 250 years of they're lucky, I think. How many? 250. I think they can live for 250 years, I think. Well, they never look happy, do they? That's, that's... Well, I don't know. They live in a world of their own. So what about, um, like, the way the world's going? Because everyone's always worrying about the world. Aren't they saying global warming and stuff like that? Best thing, perhaps, is not to listen to the news. Well, all I'm, you, all I'm, you get it, read the news and newspaper, all you do is get depressed. I know, well, I said this to someone the other day and they had a bit of a go at me because I was saying I prefer not to know a lot of stuff. It's, I think you're very wise and sensible to say that. I know, but is people don't point? like it. They don't well, like it, do they? Whatever you, look, whatever you say, there's always going to be someone who doesn't like what you're saying. But the other day, put it on, the news was saying we're not having Mother's Day anymore. It's like, what's all that about? Oh, because it upsets orphans. And it's like, what are they telling us that for? Well, ridic well some, some things are a bit, bit ridiculous. I know, but that's, that's just it, isn't it? And that's why sometimes the world annoys me. And at least I've got a point in it where I can go, let me off, and I die. Whereas with you, you've got to sit through all this. See, that's outside my control. I can't do anything about the world. The world carries on regardless. But it certainly won't end. It'd be continuous, because obviously if I'm here forever then obviously the world will still be here. But don't ask me what, what state it would be in. I mean, they just have to handle things as they happen. I mean, anything could happen. That's why I'm, I'm sort of glad that I haven't got what you've got, because I think I would. I'd be worrying all the time. I'd be thinking, where do I want to be living? What job do I want to be doing? Do I want to have kids? Will we get a dog? You know what I mean? It's all, it's all hassle, isn't it? Waking up every day here. It's like, have you seen Groundhog Day? I have seen the film, yes. That's, that's kind of what you're like, but on a bigger scale, isn't it? It's like, here we go again. It's a Thursday. Well, the sure, Thursday. We're sure there must be some good things happening, as well as um, the other side of the picture. What, for me? Or for you? Well, for, for everyone. Home. Yeah, you get a good day now and again, don't you? And you have a yeah. nice holiday and stuff. It's very important, obviously, to remember that never worry about what you haven't got, because... 
you, you must appreciate what you have got. Everyone's different. It doesn't mean that person... Never be envious of somebody else, regardless. You don't want people to have to go through. You know, you walk around and you see these people living in these fantastic houses and, yeah, very famous and all this. I mean, as I say, you don't know what people have to go through in order to get where they are yeah. and what they've got and all the other problems involved in their lives, their relationship problems, etc., etc., etc. Yeah, but you've got, you'll have loads of them because you can't avoid, like, prob problems just crop up, don't they? But saying that, if the same problem crops up for you, you'll be, you'll be ready to handle it, won't you? You'll go, oh, this happened 900 years ago, and this is how I dealt with it. I don't know, the same problem never really crops up again. It always comes up a bit different. And you're in a different situation, and etc., etc. No, but I just mean, like, in my flat, I'm constantly having problems with the boiler. I see. The first time it happened, it's like, oh, what's, what's up with this? And then the second time, like, the, the boiler man's told you a little trick to do. And I then do. you do that, and that sorts it out, so you're not as stressed. But it, then it happens again. Well, it's a nightmare. Yeah, it is. It sounds like it. Have you, has it been resolved? Not really. Are, you, it... are you a private tenant? Yeah, yeah. But what's happened at the moment? The situation just having present? cold showers. Boiling it, the kettle. It could be dangerous, couldn't it? What's the pri landlord? Pri uh, you've got a, a landlord. There's, a, there's like a service charge company who looks after the block, but I, I own see. the flat. I see, oh dear. But um, they, they don't want to know, do they? They're not I bothered. Know, I see, and I'm with you, I'm with you. I've got a problem. The living forever thing, do you ever sort of wish that you were born years ago so that you would have lived through more changes. Because at uh, the moment, not that much changes, does it? It's, it's sort of just new buildings and, you know, uh, covers of old songs. There's nothing new happening as much. Whereas if you were born, say, at the beginning of time, you would have really experienced everything, wouldn't you? Do you ever sort of I think know. about I that? I just accept the now principle. I'm, this is where I am now, that's all that matters. And what about, you know, where you live? London I find quite stressful. I'm only here because this is where, you, you know, the work is. It is stressful, I agree. Is, any doubt. Yeah, well, what, I mean, will you move around? Will you t try and see the world? Or? I, I, I don't know. I, can't, I couldn't really answer that. Yeah. But if you're living forever, aren't you tempted to go to places that are a bit dangerous? Because I fancy seeing a, a tornado but I know it's dangerous. But if I knew that nothing was going to happen to me, I'd go and sort of, I'll go to Texas and chase a couple. Well, the other thing is definitely no, and just to surprise you a bit more, is that I've never been abroad in my life. You've never been abroad? No. Why not? Why should I? That's a good... <laughs> because it's, I mean... We're all different, aren't we? We are, and to be honest, if you want for my girlfriend, I probably wouldn't go away as much as I do. She's, she's sort of... She likes travelling and I just go along because I don't want to be left on my own. See. But at the same time, I don't, I don't regret it because you, you learn a lot, don't you, from, from other places. Well, I'm sure you can. But you've just avoided that. Yes, I mean, there's other things I can learn from, other people, places. I'm not too concerned about it. I probably may not have anyone to go with. Good company, so I haven't gone. Yeah... But you can meet people away, you know, you go yeah, away... they're and strangers, then... they don't, you know, you've, it can be very difficult. You might find no one there you can get on with. It's all a bit of a risk, and you, you don't always feel like making the effort, you don't see any point. Some people find making friends easier than others, or... And you don't? I don't find it particularly easy. Why is that? Is that... A touchy subject, that, for me. Why? Well, I don't really have many... But that's by choice. Not by choice, just, the, you know, it's, it's the people you meet, isn't it? I mean... Well, there isn't many people around who you want as a friend. Or... Well, there aren't, there aren't any that have come across to, to who could be. This is the whole thing. Right. It's a high park. It will be really busy today for you. Oh, yes, it will be. I haven't done it for about three or three months. Right. So I'll probably go along because the weather is appropriate. What I do, I walk around um, Hyde Park with a board. I'll show you. I'll put it on. Walk around, walk around like that.
and people come up to me and speak to me. I've been there for hours, two or three hours sometimes, just hoping someone will approach me.